डिफेंस मिनिस्टर निर्मला सीतारामन एट डिंजान ऑन हर वे टू अरुणाचल प्रदेश टू विजिट बॉर्डर एरियाज सेंटर रिलीजेज ओवर 113 करोड़ रुपीस टू सिक्स बॉर्डर स्टेट्स इंक्लूडिंग असम अंडर बॉर्डर एरिया डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम After clearance from central government in fall to have piped gas supply soon says Manipur chief minister Nagaland to have GPS mapping and personal local location system in all government schools of the state says chief minister Nepu Rio And in sports in cricket Second T20 match between India and West Indies to be played in Lucknow a short while from now. Good evening viewers and welcome to the Northeast News. Regional News Unit of Doordarshan Kendra Guwahati wishes its viewers a happy and prosperous Diwali. This is Ajanta Chaudhary now the news in detail. Defence Minister Nirmala Sitharaman has left for Arunachal Pradesh to celebrate Diwali with Indian troops deployed in the forward post of Upper Dibang district. Sitharaman would be briefed about the defence preparedness and infrastructure improvements by the army. The defence minister arrived at Dinjan cantonment in Assam. In a tweet, defence ministry said she will celebrate Diwali at Dinjan in Assam. Andrala Omkar and Anini in Arunachal Pradesh. The high altitude post of Andrala Omkar is 35 to 40 kilometers away from the nearest road head. Sita Raman will also meet and interact with the families of the martyrs. She will be handing over paintings of school children to soldiers as Diwali gifts. General Officer Commanding in Chief Eastern Command of Indian Army Lieutenant General Manoj Mukund Narwane called on the Governor of Arunachal Pradesh Brigadier Dr B D Mishra retired at Raj Bhavan Itanagar today. It was a courtesy call. In the meeting the governor shared his committed endeavor for recruitment of youth of Arunachal Pradesh in the Indian Army. He said that with the focusing of our youth in the army it will be multifaceted advantage as the youth of the state are tough know the terrain of the border areas like the back of their hands they are well adapted to the topography and have inherent son of the soil instinct to defend every inch of our land in addition it will be the best approach to mitigate the ever growing challenge of unemployment amongst the youth of state general officer commanding in chief eastern command assured the governor of his best efforts for the welfare and well-being of the people of arunachal pradesh The center has released over 113 crore rupees to six border states as part of its plan to ameliorate the problems of people living in these isolated locations. The amount was released to Assam, Nagaland, Sikkim, Gujarat, Rajasthan and Uttarakhand under the Border Area Development Program. With this, the Home Ministry has released around 638 crore rupees so far during this fiscal to the states having international border. The BADP covers 111 border districts in 17 states to meet special development needs of border population with a focus on the people living within 50 kilometers of the international border. The first Manipur International Textile Expo Manitex was inaugurated on Monday at Manipur Trade and Expo Lamboy Kong Nang Kong in fall by signing two memorandum of agreements along with distribution of looms to 1815 weavers. Inaugurating the expo, Chief Minister N. Biren Singh said that considering the problem of unavailability of cooking gas due to natural calamities like landslide, the central government has given clearance of laying gas pipeline from Silchar to Imphal. He said that the women of Manipur have been playing pivotal role in enhancing the socio-economic status of the state since time immemorial. So to give them persistent support and encouragement, new initiative is a must. Minister of Textile and Commerce DH Biswajit Singh also addressed the function. The expo was organized with an objective of promoting handloom and garments products of the state and the agreement was signed on increasing the productivity of garments and apparel in the state. In Nagaland, the GPS mapping of all government schools and the personal location system PLS was launched by the Chief Minister Nephew Rio on 5th November 2018 in a significant step towards computerization and digitization of records by the school education department. 
While congratulating the department for the exercise undertaken, the chief minister was of the view that the department should keep visitors booked in all schools so that visiting or inspecting officials and also dignitaries place their visits or inspection reports on record, which can be digitized to be viewed by MLAs concerned and be aware of the status of schools within their respective constituencies. Mizoram Joint NGOs today led a peaceful demonstration demanding the removal of Chief Electoral Officer S.B. Sashank from his current duty in the upcoming Mizoram State Legislative Assembly election. The incident came after CEO S.B. Sashank filed a complaint against Principal Secretary Home Lalun Mawia Chuango, accusing him of hindering election process related which subsequently led to the removal of PR Secretary Lalun Mawia Chuango from his duties by the ECI. The joint NGOs initiative is supported by all other NGOs in other districts of Mizoram as well. NGO Coordination Committee said they will take all necessary measures till the end to ensure the removal of CEO S.B. Shashank from Mizoram. Tripura Chief Minister Biplab Kumar Deb will inaugurate the Diwali festival at Tripureshwari Temple in Udaipur tonight. Deputy Chief Minister Jishnu Dev Verma, Revenue Minister N.C. Dev Verma, Tribal Welfare Minister Mevar Kumar Jamatya and Tourism Minister Pranajit Sinha Roy would remain present in the inaugural function. The entire temple premises and its adjacent areas were illuminated to mark the occasion. Night-long cultural program, prayer and animal sacrifice will mark the gala religious event. Traders have already opened their stalls, hoping a brisk business during two-day festival. Elaborate security has been put in place at Tripureshwari Temple to keep troublemakers at bay. Besides, watchtowers and CCTV cameras were erected to keep close eye on suspicious movements. The Chief Minister Biplab Kumar Deb has conveyed his best wishes and greetings to the people of the state on the auspicious occasion of Deepavali. Along with the rest of the country, Assam's Guwahati city has also been decked up with glittering lights, earthen lamps and lanterns on the occasion of Diwali or Dipavali. Apart from decorating their homes, workplaces and business establishments, people are seen making beeline in sweets shops. Roadside vendors in places like Ganeshguri are selling earthen lamps, fresh flowers, banana plants, Lakshmi idols and other puja paraphernalia along the footpaths. The festival of Diwali represents the symbolic victory of light over darkness, knowledge over ignorance and good over evil. Manipur PHED Minister L. Diko has informed that the water treatment plant under construction in greater infall areas will be completed within six months to meet water shortages the city is currently facing. The PHED Minister said this during an inspection at water supply treatment plants in infall east and infall west. Speaking during the visit, the minister said that the present government started construction of 10 water treatment plants at various places in greater infall area from 2017. The construction was taken up to facilitate supply of adequate drinking water to the city. The people of the city have been facing water shortage for quite a long time. All these will end in six months' time, he said, assuring that the water treatment plants, when completed, will provide adequate drinking water to the people of Imphal City and adjoining greater Imphal areas. In Arunachal Pradesh, Chief Electoral Office have a live demo of EVM and VV Pat today in presence of media persons in Nirvachan Bhavan, Itanagar. Chief Electoral Officer Kaling Tayang claimed that EVM can't be hacked. Tayang said that imposing VV Pat would result in transparency in elections. With this, the voter will be able to verify which candidate he has voted for. Chief Electoral Officer said that no tampering is possible in EVM and it is the responsibility of all parties to improve the electoral process. He said that it is not possible to change the EVM internal circuit and EVMs have strong technical features and can't be tampered with. Manipur Health and Family Welfare Minister L. Jayanta Kumar Singh has announced opening MSc Nursing course in Manipur by November this year. He was speaking at the Foundation Day of College of Nursing, Manipur, come oath-taking ceremony of the first year BSc. Nursing students, which was held on Monday in Imphal. Speaking on the occasion, L. Jayanta Kumar Singh said that career of a nurse and its learning has no end and dedication and sincere service of the nurses should be acknowledged and appreciated by one and all. Doctors and the nurses should also understand the human aspects and nature of the patient on bed, he added. 
Later, the minister attended Ayush Foundation Day held at Ima Hall, Lampepat. At the function, he stressed about the importance of Ayush medicines, which have become an alternative medicine at present. In cricket, the second T20 match between India and the West Indies will be played in Lucknow today at 7 p.m. Lucknow is hosting an international cricket match after 24 long years with a newly built Bharat Ratna Atal Bihari Vajpayee International Stadium making its debut. India defeated the West Indies by five wickets in the first T20 international in Kolkata on Sunday to take a 1-0 lead in the three-match series. In football, the first semi-final match of the 65th Bordeloi Trophy was played between Mohammedan Sporting and BSF at Nehru Stadium in Guwahati today. Both the teams played a defensive game. In tiebreaker, Mohammedan Sporting defeated BSF by 6-5 goals and reached the final. The second semi-final will be played between All India FC and Trau of Manipur. In Meghalaya, close to 40,000 music fans were dished to an enormous diversity of original music in the NH7 Music Festival held in Wainfield in the Jantia Hills district on the weekend. Here is a report. In Manipur, the 4th Amur Falcon Festival under the theme Honour the Treasured Wings organised by Forest Department and Rainforest Club of Tamenglong was celebrated on Monday at Unity Stadium in Tamenglong. Speaking on the occasion, K. Angami, Principal Chief Conservator of Forest, said that the Forest Department has moved the state government to declare Tamenglong as the Amur Falcon District. He thanked the people of Falong Bhalok Village, Amur Falcon Village, for rendering their valuable services for protecting and safeguarding the migratory birds and wildlife. Nagaland Minister of Health and Family Welfare S. Bangyo Form flagged off Swachh Bharat Yatra cyclists to Dimapur from War Symmetry, Kohima today. Speaking on the occasion, the minister said that the main objective of the Yatra and Mela is to give out a strong message of consumer awareness on food safety from raw materials to finished products, food processing, transportation, storage handling, packaging, distribution. He added that the event is an appreciable concept with a focus on nudging the citizens to eat right for better health and well-being. He further wished the participants and cyclists in achieving the goal of disseminating the message of Eat Right India movement through the Mela. And before winding up the headlines once again. Defence Minister Nirmala Sitaraman at Dinjan on her way to Arunachal Pradesh to visit border areas. Center releases over 113 crore rupees to six border states, including Assam under Border Area Development Program. After clearance from central government, in fall to have piped gas supply soon, says Manipur Chief Minister. Nagaland to have GPS mapping and personal location system in all government schools of the state, says Chief Minister Nephew Rio. And in sports, in cricket, second T20 match between India and West Indies to be played in Lucknow a short while from now. And that brings us to the end of this evening's bulletin. Thank you for tuning in. Namaskar.